It's Jackson DKF here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this slime farm that's behind me. This is a pretty good slime farm. It generates quite a bit of loot, and so yeah, it's, oh, no, wait, wrong slime farm. That one's for another video, maybe. So this is from, like, a bit of not that long, probably, like, ten minutes of farming. I think so. Yep, and it's pretty simple. So I'm going to get on to the tutorial in a minute. So here's a spawning area. It has a spawner and the zombies spawn. They fall down in here. And they get splashed with some potions of oozing and then fall into this campfire. And then they die. And then the slimes come and die and drop their loot down here. So this might not have the highest drops, but it is incredibly simple. Because you can build it within like, well, it's, it's really cheap. The only expensive part is this, but you can basically get all the slime blocks to make it. Uh, you'll get back the slime to make it. So, uh, yep, let's go. So, okay, let's go on to the tutorial. So, these are the main expensive items you need. You need a bunch of other items like blocks and stuff, but these are the main expensive ones. Uh, so, um, I'm gonna go to the world now. All right, so I found one and I just switched the spawner out for, because it used to be a spider one and spiders spawners are the only ones that don't work. So, so you wanna make it four blocks out in all the directions. So I'm gonna get some a red building block because as you can see it's the best. So as you can see, only two in each direction. So you wanna make it four blocks out in all directions like this and two blocks down so this is a nice room and i found some diamonds by the way which is pretty lucky i wish i was in survival and so you want to put a torch so you can see and you can basically s this is how big the room is supposed to be because it gives like the most uh drops i'm pretty sure and you want a water bucket and want to put them all at the edges so it'll funnel all the zombies to this side <laughs> so here you you'll see that um wait yep four blocks there's no water here and that's what you want um how do we get rid of these guys Yep, and now they're all dead, and... <laughs> you want to put some water here, and then it'll, and it'll stop right here, and then just mine down two blocks. So, if you put any zombies down, they should go in there. It's right. Which they are. So, that's how you know that you did it right. Let me just clear these guys out, and... Here you want to um, dig out a room. So starting from these two blocks here, you want to dig out um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About that big. And in this direction, you want to dig out. Um, actually, not starting from there. You want to start from uh, yeah, nine nine blocks in. One, two. Three, four, five. You want to dig up one, two, three, four, five. Yep, about that much. I actually want to build down five. One, two, three, four. Actually, no, four. Yep, yeah, four. Um, so slash fill. So you should have like um, a pretty big space. This might need a bit of digging, and that might be a bit hard. Honestly, the uh, might have done it wrong. Uh, uh, 
you're supposed to uh, also have like just delete like one layer up there because you're, you're gonna know so you want to take a uh, hopper and build it six blocks put a block there put a hopper and the hopper leading into that hopper like this you want to take some redstone comparators some redstone place them like that place one comparator like that pointing into the hoppers like that and two redstone like that two sticky pistons they have to be sticky by the way and a redstone block make them facing into each other like this uh, no, the redstone cannot be like round though place a redstone block on any piston and then put in um, about 32 or 64 blocks I'll just use white wool because I have that in my inventory and right here uh, you're gonna want to put a gate this might be different than my original design because I kind of just found this out like not that long ago well when I was looking at the different blocks I just realized I could have used that so then I'm gonna use that now and for here you want to take um, resin repeater place it like that place a sticky person right there uh, make sure it's sticking in a block in the roof so there's a block to stick to and take some more building blocks and okay, I'll use walls better um, like this and make sure it has some redstone dust there pointing towards that block and put a dispenser up here that's to dispense the potions so um, place something like this it goes from there from that piston around and make sure it's touching that dispenser make sure none of these are making activating that so now you want something with yeah you want what you want it to go down one block um, like that and make it go in like this and put it to maximum delay and this will go into the gate yep that's a sign that it worked, and for the dispenser, uh, uh, yep, hopefully that will not activate that, and it won't, I think, and actually, no, redo it, make sure that's going in there, like this, because that will give enough space for the hopper, which will be putting potions in. Uh, it's potions of oozing, which you make with slime blocks and a brewing stand. Weird recipe, and yep. To turn this farm on and off, you would want to put a lever right here, powering that. That will stop the clock, and that's about it for the top part. In the advanced farm, it is basically like this. I may, I may actually cover that in this video. Um, so, you would want zombies to fall down. This is the problem. Why would I do that? Ah, okay. You want to go down three blocks, and this is where... We would want to start making the killing chip. So, one, two, three blocks. Three blocks out. One, two, three. That's three blocks out. And one, two, three. That's another three blocks. And one, two, three. In all those directions. 
like this. And then go down, uh, one, two. Alright, now that we've got this area done, um, let me just fill it in really quickly. You want no places for the mobs to get out, because if you're making the advanced one, they can, like, shoot out, and that's obviously not good. So you want to put some magma. This might be also a bit different from my main design because um, I upgraded it. So, right here, you want to place two blocks down and get a campfire. Soul campfires do more damage, I think, so put one of those there. You can use regular campfires too, and then you want to get some water buckets them on both sides like that and they should flow towards the middle and uh that's a bit wide uh huh if that is happening then the middle won't be uh oh no i guess you should just okay I thought this would work. Um, hmm. Hmm. Then dig out this part and dig out those two blocks and put magma in the ground right here, except for the last one. For here, put uh, an oak slab, build a long column up there, and. Oh! We're at bedrock already? Okay. Get a hopper. Uh, put it um, right there. So what that'll do is it'll like put all the items in there and by the time the slimes are with here they'll they'll probably die they won't get sucked up but yeah probably probably and that's how you make this beginner farm so let's just test it out and by breaking this torch and then activating this lever once the, enough zombies go down there they all... Oh, I forgot one major thing. This is why you always need to test your builds. Put a redstone torch right there. Because that'll keep the gate closed. Or open. I, I have no idea. Uh, that, that's not supposed to be happening. Why is this happening? Alright. Um, come on, zombies. Get in. Activate this. And they've got the effect, and then they'll explode in the slimes in a minute. Yup, there we go. And that's how you make the farm. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, I'm in spectator mode. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully you like my content. And I'll probably make more videos like this soon. And the advanced farm might come out in just, like, soon, probably. And see you guys later. Bye.